this is the end of the road for the OG Crew Cab on the road to 600. Tomorrow is the big day. We're headed to Diesel in the Mountains in Richfield, Utah. Long Bed Larry is going to be in the show. So is the OG Crew Cab, but we're also shooting for 600 horsepower on the dyno. So first, we got to go get a trailer so we can load Long Bed Larry on the trailer, then pack up, head down to Richfield, Utah. So for this trip, we're gonna take actually a different trailer that I've never used before. Kevin's got a nice trailer. It's a bumper pull, but it's nicer than mine, more heavy duty. So we're gonna go grab that. And I got a new hitch I wanna show you guys because I was sick of using my crappy one level hitch even on trailers that were too high or too low. All right, so here's the new hitch from B&W. So I worked with them on the Ultimate American Truck Build. They liked what we're doing with that. And so they wanted me to try a hitch on the OG Crew Cab, which I'm super happy about because, like I said, I only had one that was just one level, came out, not very good. So this model is called the Tow and Stow. Basically, so if it mounts in the receiver there, you can stow the ball back here so you don't hit your shins on it anymore, which is nice. And it's a seven inch adjustable. So let's get it mounted up and see how it does. There we go. They also sent a locking hitch thing. And it's pretty funny. The key to the lock is like an identical first gen Dodge key. So we should have no problem keeping track of it with all the first gens we have around, right? Pull the pins. Oh, cool. It doesn't even, it doesn't even come off, it just swivels. And I don't know where we need it for this trailer. Let's start about right here. And then the other cool thing is it's got a, two and five sixteenths or a two inch and you just basically flip it like that and Kevin's trailer is two and five sixteenths which is nice because I don't have a two and five sixteenths ball and now I do so I, I can't thank B&W enough this is going to be awesome because essentially instead of having a bunch of different hitches at different levels and different ball sizes we're gonna have one hitch one size fits all and uh, again, we can adjust the size and the height. We can adjust the ball size. We can swivel it around here so it's out of the way, not kicking our shins on it. This toe and stow receiver hitch should be awesome. So let's get it hooked up and see how it does. So Kevin's trailer, the hitch part right here is adjustable and he actually raised it way up for me because he thinks my truck is pretty high compared to his. So. I raised our B&W tow and stow up a ways, but let's get it home. If we need to adjust the height of that, we can. Also, we don't have air in the airbags yet, so we'll just tow it home just a couple miles, air up the airbags, get everything set up, and then we'll get Long Bid Larry up on top of there. tongue part down one bolt got the tow and stow and I filled the airbags up to 45 pounds let me show you it's sitting pretty level up a little bit but once the truck comes on that should be perfect so let's uh, put long bed Larry on see how it fits on this trailer Kevin built this trailer. When he built it, he moved the axles back a little ways and we've got too much tongue weight. So I think I'm gonna pull it off, put it on backwards. And because the axles are further back, that should be perfect and still leave us some tongue weight up front. So let's try it and see what it looks like. A few moments later. Well, it loaded up way better 
backwards. So that's what we're gonna go with. Got it all strapped down. The OG crew cab's not squatting too much anymore. I think this is gonna look pretty cool going down the road, two crew cabs. So there we have it. Let's hit the road, head down to Richfield, Utah, and we'll be at the event tomorrow. I kind of got it unloaded, but <laughs> it's out of fuel. I'm an idiot. I meant to fill it up, but luckily Kevin's got a fuel tank, so we're gonna put some fuel in it and then get it over to the show and shine where it belongs. Of course, we don't have the filler neck thing in, but remember how strong Kevin is? Look how strong Kevin is. We brought him for a reason. That's the only thing. See how much we can get in there. All right guys, we made it. We're all set up for the show and shine. I'm number 81 on the dyno, which is almost the end. So we have a lot of time. So let me show you around what an event like this is like. Some of you have never been to anything like this and this event in particular is really cool. So let's go take a look. Those of you who have been in the forums for years, comment below, whose truck does this remind you of? I actually asked the owner if his name was that person, and it's not, but this is identical. He's got the 5.9 Fab cold air intake. Here is Red Delicious, Randy's transmission. Look at that, they got the block bolted in there. Chained in there, I guess you could say. I think it's got triples. Yep. And then here's Randy's uh, burnout truck called Methany. Go check out this guy's channel, Farm Fresh Fabrication. Paul and Merlin showed up with the rat back. This is the one. There's the tow, tow mater. What does he call this? His tow truck? GoPros all over in here. One, two, three. All right, another first gen crew cab. This guy's got the rat man pump with rat man injectors, 362 over 75. Sweet rig. He's hoping for 500. I think he'll easily be 500. I think he's getting famous. I poor dude. We gotta cut his hair. All right, this will be interesting. Ratman versus Hungry Diesel. Comment below, what is he gonna hit? So he's got 362 over 475, Ratman pump, Ratman injectors. He doesn't know exactly what size. He's opening at five, but he hasn't done much tuning. So I'm hoping to hit six. I wanna see another V hit six. I forgot to ask him what transmission he's got in it, but it's a manual. 
Much every truck has been doing worse on the second run. What do you get? What do you get? 503. So many different combinations of everything. Two over 500. Nice. There's Red Delicious. All the carnage. All right, guys, it has been a long, long day, but I hope you enjoyed some of the footage of what we've been able to do for the rest of the day, but we are finally in line to do the dyno, and that's not even the end of it. It's probably gonna be at least an hour wait in line, but we're almost there. We're only gonna be able to hit the dyno once today. My plan was to actually hit it twice. I was actually gonna switch my exhaust housing out between dyno runs, but it's too late. They're not gonna let me get back on. So we're going to have to switch the exhaust housing. We're testing Bradley at Savage Fab has a specific exhaust housing for the S362 that he wants me to test, but we're not going to be able to do it today. So we'll swap it out and get on another dyno and see how that performs. By the way, this will be the last video in this series, whether we hit 600 or not. This is the end of the road for the OG Crew Cab on the road to 600. I just want to get this back to daily driver status. We've done everything we need to do to hit 600. At this point, it's just a matter of tuning. So hopefully we can hit it, but if we don't, I know we could if we did a lot of tuning on it. So we'll see how it goes. So comment below, let me know, do you think we're gonna hit 600 or no? I have no idea. I have a lot of people saying we're going to, a lot of people don't think we will, who knows? But whatever we hit, I'll be happy with it as long as we leave here with the truck running and driving. All right guys, it's almost our turn. Uh, the one in front of us just got on the dyno and then it is our turn. We've got Four cameras, I think, going, so I'll get tons of views, gauges, outside, everything. Stand by. Five, six. 
569 horsepower is a lot of power and it feels awesome on the truck. It's really mind blowing to think that had we just left our 50 horsepower tip on the truck for the dyno, we probably would have hit the number. But they wouldn't let me leave it on the truck. They were afraid it was gonna hit the dyno as I was driving up, so just had to go with their rules. Well, my biggest fear was that we were going to blow the head gasket on the OG crew cab and not be able to bring it home. And guess what? It is home. The Road to 600 has been an epic journey. If you've been following along, this has gone over two years and we've taken this stock motor all the way up to 569 horsepower. Make sure if you haven't seen all the early videos on the whole process we used to get there, go check that playlist out. It has been an awesome journey and thank you for those who have been on that journey since the beginning. Also, thank you to the sponsors of this journey, namely the Hungry Diesel. Eric at the Hungry Diesel stepped up, wanted me to go through all of his power packages, see how high we could get the horsepower. And like I said, I'm confident with enough tuning and time and a couple more runs on the dyno, we would easily hit 600 on this truck. I'm sure all of you are wondering, how is the drivability now with the compounds and being at almost 570 horsepower? The answer to that question has actually had me question whether or not we should stop the road to 600. I absolutely love driving this truck now with the compounds. It is awesome. You can get in the boost and have power at any gear. The noise is so much less. I've towed stuff a couple times with it. It is just awesome. So let me know in the comments. I'm kind of on the fence now. Should we keep going on the road to 600 and try and hit that 600 mark? Or should we hang it up and focus on some of the other builds on the channel? Speaking of which, we've got Long Bed Larry almost done. It will be done in time for SEMA. I should have it at SEMA in Las Vegas in early November. We've got the ultimate American truck build. We're ready to put the body back on that. And we've got a couple more builds that are coming up right after those. One is gonna be another Road 2, not horsepower though. So let me know what you think about that. Maybe guess what you think we're gonna focus on in that Road 2 series. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you for all your support and we'll see you guys in the next one.